Saturday night at the Motor Point Arena, the Dundee Stars were in town, also making his debut, R.G. Flath, who arrived from Denmark only on Friday morning. Sheffield had two victories already over the Dundee Stars, but it was Dundee that were going to open the account, and it was the former Steeler, Jeff Hutchins, who backhanded it past the Caro and gave the Stars a 1-0 lead at 5 minutes and 29 seconds. Just 20 seconds later, the Steelers were leveled. Good work from Huttle and Finity, and Johnny on the spot. But the second time of asking was RG Flat. Scores on his debut, 5.49 gone. We are tied at one apiece, but the Dundee Stars were to have the better of the first period. The Steelers were scrappy. They left Dolan free out in front. He shoots, he scores, and a nice finish from John Dolan made it 2-1. Awkward collision you'll see coming here from Young Lies. There's a nasty crack along the boards. He was helped off. He would return, and he would play an important part in the weekend. But not before John Dolan had doubled the Dundee Stars' advantage. Hughes got a little tip on it. Lovely finish over the glove from John Dolan. End of the first period, the Dundee Stars led the Steelers by three goals to one. So important, the Steelers quickly got back into this one. Could Rod Savage do something? He can. He finds a gap, finds some space, he shoots, he scores. Tate and Clark pick up assists in 2.53 into the second period. The Sheffield Steelers were 3 2 up. I'd hardly had time to announce the goal when Chris Saab went over the glove to Caro to make it 4 2. A two goal advantage once again, just 16 seconds between the two goals. Important, the Sheffield Steelers were the next on the scoreboard, and they were. It was that man Flaff again. Johnny on the spot, shoots and scores, and the Steelers would end the second period with the scoreline Dundee. 4-3 ahead. Just 35 seconds into the period when Estes from behind his own goal files one off the back of the goal of his legs and we are tied at four apiece. It was a bombastic six minutes for the Sheffield Steelers. They were to score three without reply. After Estes' goal, Colt King finds the back of the net off a lovely feed from Jason Hewitt. Squires also picking up an assist there. And then, well, this was the goal we were all leaving the arena talking about. We see Saric just go end to end, taxi for the Dundee defenceman, forehand, backhand, shelf, and Rod Savage gives the Steelers that 6 4 advantage. So good. We saw it again, and you can see walks past four Dundee Stars defencemen, and a backhand finish makes it 6 4. Sheffield on their way to two comfortable points, or so we thought. Pass out in front, Brent Hughes all alone, and with nine minutes and 50 seconds remaining, Brent Hughes makes it 6 5. Just out of camera. Young Squires goes down, he took a late hit, the play was allowed to continue for a bit but Squires was down, he would head off to the Sheffield Steelers dressing room. End of the game though, he was fine, he was okay. With Wishart off for a two minute trip in minor, Stevenson found King and look at this for a finish from Ryan Finity. He made it 7-5 on the power play, we all breathed a sigh of relief. McLean went for hooking in the dying seconds, Colt King was to bag his second goal of the night. The final score of the Sheffield Steelers, 8. The Dundee Stars, 5. The Steelers keep their excellent record, certainly in the Elite League, going.